Welcome in, my name is Sweet Phil and I do super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials along with other types of content creation type videos here on this channel. If that interests you and you wanna help out a small channel like myself, hit the like button and subscribe up. Let me go ahead and get out of the way so you don't miss any of what's going on here. Now you can see I have a green screen footage right here of myself that I used for a video prior. Now the green screen looks terrible. It's got shadows, it's got folds, it's got wrinkles, but this green screen works so good and so quick and so easy, this will work perfectly fine. Now, once you have the footage right here, go ahead and go over to the effects library, go to open effects and come down to the 3D gear. Just drag and drop this right onto the footage. Now that you have that on the footage, over under the inspector, you got the effect right here and it is pre-selected on the qualifier. That's perfectly fine. Now, what you do need to do if you're unfamiliar with this is click this drop down and click open effects overlay. And there you go. One thing that is important though, you see this darker spot under my arm and some other places is light. You need to make sure you get all the different shades of the green screen. This will work with any color. Green is the most important. Some people have blue screens, some people have green, some people want to take out some other color. But for here, we're using the green screen. So I start off under my arm here where I get the most. And you can go right off the screen, it's perfectly fine and come back on. And as it turns black, that means that color is being dropped out. Now we don't want to go over any part of our body, over our head, over our shirt or anything like that. But I go ahead and draw around in all the open areas and try to get as much as I can. You can just do this one time and get it out of the way. Boom, there you go. Now we can go ahead and make it a little bit better. You can see there's a little bit of green next to my arm here around my bald head. It is a little bit as well. Go ahead right here, it is matte finesse. So we'll go ahead and drop that down. What I usually do is bring this clean black up to about where the pre-filter was already set. You can bring it a little lower, a little bit higher if you need to, but if you see you bring it too high, it eats into what you want. So I bring it up maybe just to it or maybe a little bit under. And generally what I do is just drag the despill all the way over. That What this does is if there's any residual green, perhaps we'll go and zoom in right next to my neck here. You can see there's some green. What it'll do is it'll actually gray that out so it kind of blends in with the rest of everything that's going on. So now that we have that green screen, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up just to show you this green screen is working absolutely perfectly. Boop. And here we are, and I'll just go ahead and drag it out and we can even play it forward just so you can see it's working perfectly fine. That is how you get an absolutely perfect green screen here in DaVinci Resolve, the best way in my opinion. 